Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree. Hope you all are doing well and staying safe. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Happy New Year. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. I just want to wish you all a safe and blessed and prosperous New Year because, whew, yeah, I just want to wish y'all a great 2022. It's going to be a great year no matter what we go through. We just got to keep our head up high and keep on working and keep on pushing. So I hope you all have a great new year. And because it's the new year, this is my first video of 2022 on my channel. So I thought I'll switch it up, film a first year of grad school recap video um, along with some advice and tips I want to give you all especially since I have a lot of subscribers who are in grad school about to start grad school soon and are thinking about grad school so I think this video will be helpful because you guys can listen to kind of my experience of my first year of grad school and I think it might be helpful so let's get into it so a little bit about me y'all, especially if you're new to my channel. I am 26 years old. I live in the Bay Area and I'm pursuing my master's in counseling and guidance and I am pursuing a career in higher education. Specifically, I want to be a community college counselor and our college advisor counselor type our program director. I just want to work in higher education. I don't know specifically you know really what I want to do after I get my master's but to have a you know go up the ladder and get the money I have to get my master's <laughs> so that is why I am pursuing my master's in counseling and guidance so my first year of grad school honestly y'all ha has been great it was great I completed my first full year in December I started grad school on my first year of grad school in January of 2020 one and so um i started in the spring instead of the fall and honestly y'all overall my first year of grad school was great i was able to network i was able to um you know meet a lot of new people and just like put myself out there i was i've been i was learning a lot my i mean you know i made mistakes and try to you know everything was so new because it was a different campus but i was able to really 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 um, be resourceful and put myself out there and just meet new people and that opened a lot of doors for me so honestly my first year of grad school was just lovely <laughs> it, was, it really was but also it was really hard I had a hard time trying to I guess balance like working two part-time jobs and school and doing other stuff like it was a lot i was doing literally multitasking like a lot and so i'm not gonna lie my first year of grad school was exhausting like especially especially last semester i was so so exhausted y'all like if you guys watch my uh grad school weekly vlogs um, especially like my grad school vlogs y'all saw that i was like working on campus i had another part-time job and of course you know I had to go to class, attending classes, and okay, you now you gotta carve out time to do your homework and do your readings and on, on all your assignments. So I was literally just so exhausted my second semester of grad school because I was literally taking five classes and working two jobs technically, two part-time jobs. And so definitely I experienced a lot of burnout my second semester of grad school. Also on top of that, I had to commute. So, um, <laughs> y'all, let's just say my first, my first semester was way smoother than my second semester because my first semester I was working I was working from home and I was every all the classes were online because of the pandemic um, and so my first semester of grad school was online completely so I would lay, wake up from bed make my coffee and then sit at my desk do like go to work virtually and then you know get ready for class later that evening or whatever so everything was online as for my second semester, that wasn't the case. And so, like I just mentioned, I was taking five classes. I was working two part-time jobs, one separate from outside of the school, and then my um, on-campus um, internship job, which was, um, you know, 20 hours a week, and I had to commute three days out of the week. And so, I live an hour away from my university. 
that I attend. And so I had to do, I had to commute an hour, um, three days out of the week. And that was super exhausting. And so, yeah, despite... <laughs> Despite my first semester being online, I literally felt all the effects um, of my second semester commuting and just like navigating like multiple like my jobs and then my classes. So it was definitely a lot. And I think that's one thing I learned my first year of grad school was that I have to do better with letting myself burn out easily. And so I need to, I have to let go of something. And so I came to the conclusion in October of last year that I cannot work two part-time jobs because it's just overwhelming and yes i did get good grade i did get good grades and i did do well in my uh overall both my semesters of my first year of grad school however i realized that i want to be i want to do better um with my health and i don't want to overwhelm myself or overstress myself or overburn myself out and so i had to make the decision to let go of my part-time one of my part-time jobs so I let that job go in December I had, my last day was in December and so now going into this new year um, of grad school my last year of grad school will not be working two part-time jobs only be working one part-time job so that is something I really learned for year of grad school is that burnout is real and you have to really listen to your body whatever you need to do to make sure that you're not overwhelming yourself and over overworking yourself because at the end of the day you're just gonna feel exhausted and overwhelmed so I just want to reiterate like you know make sure you're taking care of yourself like you gotta listen to your body like if you feel like you're overwhelmed um, and that you can't you can't do it all like if you can't work two jobs and go to school then let go of one job and then just do school and work part-time or 30 hours a week whatever so just do what's best for you because at the end of the day you don't want to overburn your, you don't want to burn yourself out and then you can't do well in your classes and you know for grad school you have to keep a certain gpa like most grad school programs especially mine you have to th have a 3.0 and above and if you don't have 3.0 then you're out the program so you want to make sure that you're just you know being conscious and aware of um of that so a huge tip and that's one thing I did learn my first year of grad school is that like hey I can't do it all so something got to give and a job was <laughs> a job had to go so that was a little recap of how my first year of grad school went all right y'all let's discuss some tips and advice for you all to do well your first year of grad school I'll be looking at my iPad so please excuse me if I'm looking down but the first tip which I already kind of talked about earlier in this video is to stay organized stay organized i feel like honestly like i mentioned earlier the key to me doing well in my classes and doing well on my assignments was because i was organized um y'all i have like a planner i have a notebook where i write out my daily and weekly to-do list my ipad which was coming handy um i mean i just use all my technology to help and my notebooks and my planner to help me stay organized so you know create a system to help you get and stay organized throughout your first year of grad school the second tip i have for you all is to make friends with folks in your cohort or in your classes i found it really important to make friends um, in my program because you might have a question <laughs> you might need help with the assignment or maybe you had to miss a day of class and you're like oh my goodness what am I supposed to do for this assignment I'm super confused and I realized really making friends with folks in my program in my cohort I was able to ask some questions I was like do you know how to do this I'm confused on this assignment and you know what we all help each other out if there's an assignment that we're confused about some we even started like a like a group like chat like a whatsapp group and like everyone would be like do anyone else know how to do this do someone know how to do this do anyone know where this class is how do we do this how do we do that and we will all just collectively help one another out um, especially if we all had a question or a question about something we all just helped each other out and I found it really helpful to really make friends and connect with folks in your program so tip number three is to have a a designated study slash work area um, in your house in your apartment 
and I found having a, a really nice desk and a monitor and like a whole little grad school setup um, in my room really, really, really helped me get work done. Having a study slash work area in my room to be really helpful because that just tells my brain, okay, this is where I sit to get work things done. Um, I have, I'm not sitting in my bed doing homework. I'm not sitting in my bed reading. I'm not sitting in my bed writing papers. I'm sitting at my desk getting work done and something about sitting at a desk to get work done just feels different. I don't know about y'all, but having a designated area, work area, whatever you want to call it, study area, um, grad school setup is important and I found to be really helpful and I think if you don't have like a nice you know study area I you know make create one before you start school because I found to be really helpful tip number four is to make attainable to-do lists found myself a lot my first year of grad school really making crazy to daily to-do lists knowing that I'm only going to get three things done <laughs> And that's what usually happens. My advice to you all is to make attainable to-do lists. Only write down things you you know that you're going to get done on your to-do list. So if you have like a lot of things to do in one day, try to just write down your four or your big three to-do thing to-dos that you need to get done that day. So just make attainable, realistic to-do lists for yourself don't make crazy to do's and you know you're not going to get them done so tip number five is to create slash set a grad school schedule i found it really really helpful when i would create a set schedule before each semester so my first semester of grad school i basically since i was working from home and doing my classes from virtually i was like okay this is the day mondays and tuesdays are my days where i only i don't have no school it's all my all my part-time job like i'm only working on my job stuff and then the rest of the week i am working on grad school stuff so on my set schedule i'll have like okay wake up at seven to go to the gym and then at one i have a class at four i have a class um you know i'm just having a a set basically semester schedule grad school semester schedule where i can always reference that right um and so i found it to be really helpful having creating slash setting a grad school semester schedule creating a set schedule really helped me stay organized y'all i cannot stress that enough it really did it really helped me stay stay organized and that's how i was able to get a lot of things done and really be successful my first year of grad school tip number six is to have an outlet or hobby outside of grad school um i cannot stress this enough how it's important not to be just consumed with work and school school and work like no you need to have a hobby you need to have an outlet at least once or twice a week or you know a few times out the month and for me my outlet was going to the gym hanging out with my friends uh twice or three times out of the month having like we'll go to brunch we'll go to dinner have a little girls night out go to dinner basically when we say girls night out i mean just getting cute and then going out to dinner and then going home but um yeah just having an outlet is super important and so if it's going to the gym or maybe you like biking or maybe you like hiking doing whatever you need to do to kind of step away from school um step away from assignments step away from work in school do whatever you need to do to kind of have a healthy balance of things that make you happy that you enjoy doing whatever you need to do to have a outlet outside of school definitely definitely is healthy school can consume you and it's already take up much majority of your time so it's important that you have an outlet outside of work in school super important like a huge advice for y'all <laughs> So tip number seven kind of goes along with tip number six, but tip number seven is to make sure you incorporate self-care and rest in your routine and in your schedule. What I learned my first year of grad school was that I was not doing enough self-care. I was not resting enough. I was not incorporating, you know, 
taking care of myself and that's one thing I definitely want to change going into my second year of grad school um, so that's a huge advice for you all making sure you incorporate self-care whatever self-care looks like to you you do that right um, if it's taking a bath is it if it's like getting your nails done your feet done um, do whatever you need to do but incorporating um, take some self-care techniques and making sure you're getting lots of sleep is important and that's something that I have to work on because I did not work on that my first year of grad school so definitely definitely a huge advice for you all so tip number eight is to get involved on campus. I found it really helpful and beneficial for grad students to get involved on campus. Um, it can be joining a club, it can be uh, starting a club, it can be joining a support group or creating a support group. I find it to just be really helpful and to be in community with other grad students while you're doing your masters. I found it to be really helpful and beneficial. Tip number nine is to ask for help when needed. If you need help, ask for help don't wait last minute to get help if you're struggling ask for help don't wait last minute and to utilize your resources and your re your number one resources um your professor the folks in your class i know for me personally my first year of grad school i utilized the writing center a lot i was like mm, i need to ask a tutor i need to ask somebody to read my paper to make sure I don't have no grammatical errors that it sounds right so yeah ask for help if you need it it's super important don't don't think just because you're in grad school you know it all you have it you know hey i don't need help i got into this grad school program i'm good no grad school can, is hard and if you need help seek help finally y'all my last tip for you all is to be okay to fail and to get back up i feel like that is one of my number one advice to you all that it's okay to fail it's okay not to have it to not do things the per perfect the first time around and i feel like my first year of grad school especially my first semester of grad school i feel like i was like oh man like i don't know what i'm doing you know i was failing one quiz and i was like oh my goodness how did i fail this quiz like you know i'm studying and i was like okay it's okay that I didn't do well the first time or the first couple times, but you know what? I'm gonna get it. I gotta strategize. What can I do to get back up? And I got back up. If I didn't do well on assignment, um, I'm like, okay, what did I? What do I need to do to do better next time? And so it's constantly, okay, I didn't do well the first time, but what can I do better the second time so I can get the? It's okay time to get back up it's okay it's time to get back up so if i failed or i didn't do as well as some on something i got back up and so that was something i really really was proud of myself that i did that even if i didn't do good on something that i didn't let it hinder me not doing well on other assignments just remember that it's okay to fail like it's okay to mess up especially if it's your first year of grad school or your first semester that's totally fine but just learn to get back up from it and just learn from the, your mistakes and your failures and making sure that you do ask for help if you need help all right y'all that is all the advice and tips i have for you all to do well your first year of grad school these tips were tips I learned along the way my first year. Trial and error, but I learned from other people and it really did help me do well and succeed my first year of grad school. I was able to get really good grades despite burnt out despite you know some failures and some mistakes but overall I was able to do well my first year. I just hope these tips and advice were helpful and useful and hopefully beneficial to y'all as you all embark on your grad school journey you're applying to grad school or thinking about it maybe you're already in grad school and or maybe you are about to start grad school i hope this video was helpful and useful to you in any kind of way i really appreciate you all tuning in and watching this video make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel make sure you click the notification bell so you are notified of when I post new videos and I will check in with you all in the next video. Bye!